Next time you're walking down Dale Street, you'd be forgiven for passing this alleyway without a second glance. But Hockenhall Alley, as it is known today, houses something rather special. This neglected building is one of the oldest houses still standing in the city centre. Built around 1765, this house originally formed a terrace row known as Molyneux Waint. And unlike many of the grander residences that still exist around the city, would have been home to a working class individual or family. As city growth accelerated, Liverpool Corporation started to widen and expand Dale Street, leading to the majority of houses being forcibly repossessed and demolished. Number 10 Hockenhall Alley might actually be a symbol of resistance, where one shop owner refused to give up their home and workplace. Next time you're passing, don't forget to pop by. Now, where shall we visit next? Another wonderful example of Art Deco architecture, the Littlewoods building has been a Liverpool landmark since 1938 as the home of the Littlewoods business empire. Within a year of the doors opening during World War II, the government commandeered the building, utilising its manufacturing ability to print millions of conscription letters, Halifax bomber components, parachutes and barrage balloons. The building also housed the government's postal censorship department, where workers would sift through mail, redacting information deemed to risk the war effort. The heartbeat of one of Liverpool's business success stories from 1938 until the mid-1990s now stands vacant and in ruin, hurt by a 2019 fire and years without occupation. Plans to develop the site into film studios are finally taking shape and could see this building find its former glory once again. I've always loved films that tease the sequel as the credits roll. Just south of Wavertree High Street stood the Grange Estate. When it was demolished in the late 1800s, it was expected that the land would become part of the suburban push and be swallowed up by housing. Instead, the land was purchased and presented back to the city of Liverpool to be used as a place for recreation, a playground for local residents and children to enjoy. The donor preferred to remain anonymous and consequently, this area became known as the mystery as people gossiped over the potential benefactor. By the time the donor was revealed as local ship owner Philip Holt, the name was concrete in the minds and mouths of Wavertree residents and consequently remains the unofficial title to this day. Now, where should we go next? Queen Avenue is a curved pedestrianised route between Dale Street and Castle Street. It was once one of the financial and legal hotspots of the city. In the 1840s, the Liverpool Stock Exchange was situated on the top floor of this building before being asked to find new premises. I've heard that the parties were a little wild and someone might have brought a bear along. The Wolf of Dale Street, perhaps. Anyway, whilst there are some institutions still situated there, nowadays the Grade 2 listed buildings mostly house luxury accommodation, boutique shops, art galleries and bistros. The occasional rumble reminds us that below us, the Queensway Tunnel keeps Liverpool and Wirral connected. Now, where shall we go next? The walk from Hall Road to Hightown lets you take in nature at its finest, but the occasional piece of rubble hidden in the dunes suggests it was once occupied. In fact, from 1906, this was the home of Crosby Battery, sometimes known as Fort Crosby. Three gun stations helped protect the port of Liverpool from air and sea attacks. The camp also included barracks, observation towers and spotlights. Post-war, the area became a prisoner of war camp, housing German and Italian prisoners, but this is a story for another day. Later, it was used as a territorial army training site before the land was sold off. The gun emplacements are still visible, and if you're feeling brave, the warren of tunnels underneath them are accessible too. Now, where should we go next? Please don't say the tunnels. <laughs>